We like video games with a good story. However, some stories are better than others. In this video, we are going to take a look at the very best that gaming has provided us with over the years. Since we are going deep into the story arcs of many popular games, consider yourself spoiler warned. Here are the 10 greatest story arcs in gaming. Come on, people, move! What are they running from? The opening of The Last of Us hits you like a truck. Watching your daughter die in your arms after escaping from a horde of fungal people just breaks your heart. It sets the stage for an amazing story in post-apocalyptic America. The pairing between the cynical Joel and young badass girl Ellie is amazing. They form a unique bond as they try to survive and deliver a possible cure for the fungal virus. It's light on the reading, but it's got some interesting photos. Now, now Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! The game builds up to a very dark and controversial ending that blew us away. You understand Joel's point of view even if you don't agree with it. Swear to me that everything that you said about the fireflies is true. I swear. I chose rapture. The first Bioshock gave us one of the most interesting locations in gaming. Discovering all the different aspects of the underwater city Rapture was amazing. The many audio logs really fleshed out the world and its twisted inhabitants. That was crazy. Take a photo of him and place it in Quartic. <laughs> mm, I'm feeling full like an expectant mama. The main story always kept you on the edge of your seat as you were trying to find out what the hell was going on. Not to mention the insane, which you kindly plot twist. It made you feel like you actually didn't have any real control over your actions up until that point. It's great commentary on the very nature of gaming itself. Stop! Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. To the Moon is an indie game with a very emotional story. The premise is fairly simple. In the future, a technology has been developed to change a person's memories. This is done on patients with only days to live so that they can die happily, knowing that all their dreams were fulfilled. The game is about two scientists who want to grant the wishes of a dying patient called Johnny. You discover different aspects of his life as you jump through his memories. The story has very touching human elements and the ending stayed with us for a very long time. To the Moon shows that you don't need a big budget to tell an intimate story. Got him! Wasn't the last of them! I see him! Spec Ops The Line starts off like a typical Call of Duty heroic story. However, the longer you play the game, the more you realize this isn't the case. You start to wonder whether you are really doing the right thing as a soldier in the sandy hell of Dubai. Spec Ops The Line turns the typical you're the hero trope on its head. We need to keep moving. You start to feel guilty for all the destruction and death you caused during the campaign. This is the video game version of post-traumatic stress disorder and we have a lot of respect for the developers who were brave enough to show us the dark side of war. I'm here because you can't accept what you've done. It broke you. Colonel? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. The Walking Dead Season 1 turned developer Telltale into the new king of interactive storytelling. You follow Lee and Clementine on their journey for survival through a zombie-infested city. You gather a group of survivors and it quickly becomes clear that not everybody is going to make it to the end. Each death is extremely brutal and the game is full of raw emotional moments. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. It's a beautiful story of a convict trying to protect a little girl and overcoming the horrors around them. The heartbreaking finale made a huge impact on us. What a sad ending to such a great game. Please don't become a walker. 
There's only one thing you can do. You know that. Planescape Torment explores some really deep philosophical concepts, following a character called the Nameless One. He has lived multiple lives, yet can't remember any of them. Throughout his journey, he regains memories of his past lives. The Nameless One is tormented by the ghosts of the people who are sacrificed to fuel his resurrections. Yet, he has no idea why any of this is happening. Planescape Torment is full of extremely good writing as you visit many surreal planes of existence. The game asks some serious questions about death that definitely make you think about life. Time is not your enemy. Forever is. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Silent Hill 2 tells the story of James Sunderland, who comes to Silent Hill after receiving a letter from his deceased wife asking him to come. What starts as a simple plot soon evolves into something much bigger. The game tackles mature subjects like grief and guilt. It does this masterfully by using horror in a very smart way. No! I won't let you! You deserve to die too, James! Silent Hill 2 takes you on a dark psychological journey through the human mind and your actions actually have consequences. The game has a total of six possible endings which are determined by how you play the game. It actually analyzes your gameplay as if you're taking some sort of psychological test. Now that's just creepy. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. Hey, gringo! Hablas espanol? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo habla un solo poquito espanol. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption is basically GTA in a Western setting, but when you look a little closer, it's so much more. The story, characters, and setting all have an amazing amount of detail and depth. Sure, the plot is a little cliche, but it doesn't really matter because of how well it's told. We also have to mention just how great the protagonist John Marston is. That is, until he suddenly dies in the final hours of the game. And when I die, don't bury me. In a brilliant move by Rockstar, the game continues after the death of the main character. As his son, you get a chance to settle the score and avenge your father's death, which is just awesome. Unatko has briefed me on my augmentations. Get to the point. Your parents were murdered precisely because they could have told you the correct answer to that question. Deus Ex was one of the first games that showed that shooters could tell a great story with interesting characters. The game takes place in a futuristic universe full of corporate conspiracies and augmented people. The plot focuses on J.C. Denton, who has to investigate a deadly plague-like disease. The story only gets more mysterious when groups like the Illuminati and big corporations get involved. I agreed to see you because we have a mutual enemy. Why a vacant building? I thought the Illuminati were bankers, politicians, council on foreign relations types. You can find extra information on almost everything by hacking computers and snooping around. It really fleshes out the universe and totally immerses you in this Blade Runner-like cyberpunk world. I need you to escape. I can cut power to the door only a few seconds without being detected. The Final Fantasy games might look amazing these days, but when it comes to story, the series peaked with Final Fantasy VI. The game features no less than 14 playable characters who are all fleshed out in interesting ways. However, the biggest shock comes halfway through the game when the evil Kefka destroys the world. This game actually shows what happens when the good guys lose and have to deal with the aftermath. Even if you beat the bad guy at the end, the world is still messed up and you simply have to accept that. It's a game about learning how to carry on when something bad happens and that's something you don't see every day.
What is your favorite story arc in gaming? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn.